In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up TikTok retargeting campaigns and how we do it for some of the largest brands in the world. And not only am I gonna be showing you exactly how to do it, but this is a completely free step-by-step -step tutorial video that you can apply to your TikTok ads manager account, where you can literally create these retargeting audiences and be able to start seeing results from it. Retargeting is one of the most powerful ways you can get people actually back into your funnel after people have discovered you through TikTok, whether they watched one of your videos, visited your website, actually completed a purchase, and you wanna retarget them to bring them back to buy more from you or to you know, get them further down the funnel. If you're B2B based business, let's say you're optimizing for leads and you wanna bring them back into the funnel to convert into a booked call or to convert on a high ticket offer. So whether you're a B2B business, a creator, e-commerce or a retail business, these retargeting strategies are gonna be able to work for you. Today, we aren't wasting any time. So let's definitely jump into the video so that way we can get started. So first things first, my name is Chase Chapel. If you don't already know, I'm the founder of Chapel Digital Marketing and Surge.io, where we literally advise and spend over $200 million a year for our clients and literally walk through the exact strategies with brands and businesses on how to actually structure their campaigns as well as manage it for them. We work with clients like the Talks on TikTok that is a retail business and they have a spa and they're expanding by the day. Or like Alex Stimp who has over 20 million followers on TikTok here and Oak and Eden who just launched their flagship whiskey brand and is absolutely crushing it in the Yellowstone category. And even amazing national brands like Power Crunch where we're literally able to scale up the results. So let's take a look at how to actually structure your TikTok ad retargeting campaigns. So first things first, once you're actually in your TikTok ads manager, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to assets and you're going to click on audiences. And then what you're going to want to do is hit create audience, custom audience. And this is where we're going to have different options to actually create a retargeting audience. We're going to have the option of either uploading a customer file, which is essentially a customer list that we already have, whether it's leads or whether it's, you know, actually people who purchase from us or email list that we built. Engagement is going to be anyone who clicked or engaged with your content from an ad standpoint. Then app activity, if you have an actual social media app, that's where you can create app retargeting campaigns. Website traffic is exactly what it says. It's people who visited specific you know, pages in your website or completed specific events. And we're gonna break down what makes the most sense to retarget there. Or on the lead gen side where you're collecting emails and generating leads list and you could you know, optimize to actually retarget people who opened the form but didn't complete it. Or you could retarget people who completed the form but didn't complete the next step after that. Or your business account, which is absolutely amazing because if you already have a TikTok profile of all of the customers you know and love that follow you as your fan base, you can retarget these people who literally watch your TikTok videos and get in front of them with an actual ad with a strong call to action and be able to get conversions. So the first things first, if you've been running TikTok ads, the first audience we're going to want to go after is going to be engagement because it's going to be a larger audience size where you can actually retarget video views of, you know, people who've, you know, watched your ads in the last 30 days. And you want to do this because the minimum size audience on TikTok that you need for creating a retargeting audience is going to be a thousand people. So you're going to want to retarget people who watched your video. So that way you can get back in front of them if they haven't converted before. And you can select all ad groups and you know, the action is going to be basically video views at 25%. So essentially, as long as somebody watched at least 25% of your video and they've shown some level of interest and they did it within 30 days, we want to retarget those people. So we would literally create a video view 25% 30-day audience. And then enable auto refresh. Essentially, that means that this audience is going to actively update every day. So every day we go forward, there's going to be new people coming in. And at the 31st day, there's going to be people going out. So it's a 30 day audience and it's always being updated on the regular. Then we'll hit confirm and we have our first retargeting audience that we've created. And we're going to create a few retargeting audiences to start with that make the most sense. The other one is going to be website traffic where you can literally retarget people who visited your website. These are people who actually made it to your website page. TikTok is known for driving a lot of traffic to your actual website and people don't always convert on the actual first touch point. So you definitely need to retarget people multiple times to make sure that they're coming back and you're using different messaging to get them there. So this would be a page view 30 day audience. Same thing here, enable auto refresh and we're gonna hit confirm. And these audiences will take some time to actually refresh and update with the actual sizes before you can use them. I'd give it at least 24 hours uh, before you can actually use this audience. And then we're gonna create another audience. And if you have a TikTok profile, this is great because you're gonna wanna link your business account and you're gonna to wanna to retarget anybody who's viewed your profile or has viewed your videos. And you can select relevant videos that make the most sense. If they are relevant to your actual business and you wanna run ads around that, you should definitely retarget these people because it's gonna be very valuable for you to get in front of them. And not only that, you can create lookalike audiences off of this as well. 
And then if you have add to carts, you could create an add to cart audience specifically. I would choose a longer time frame. You're gonna want at least a thousand add to carts. And even if you have a thousand add to carts, realistically, we don't really see these audiences work too well unless you have more than 3,000, upwards of 10,000 add to carts because not every single person has a TikTok profile. TikTok isn't able to match every individual from your actual online store. So it's gonna be important that you have more data than the actual recommend recommended because that's going to give you the best chance for performance. So once you've created these audiences, what you're going to do is go to campaigns, you're going to hit create, and you're going to be able to create your retargeting audience campaign. We're going to choose custom because we have more control. And we're going to go to website conversions because this is exactly what we want to optimize for. We'll name this a retargeting campaign. We're going to hit continue. And this is going to be our actual retargeting campaign. We're going to choose our pixel. We're optimizing for complete payment. If we have an e-commerce website, or if that's the actual goal we're shooting for. And then we're gonna scroll down here. We're gonna set our age range and limitations here for what makes sense. And then we're gonna include our actual retargeting audiences. So we had just created our page view 90 day. So that's gonna be one of these audiences that we're gonna retarget. And this shows that the audience is very narrow. So we're going to go ahead and add in an additional audience, which is going to be our actual video views. And so now you can see 23,000 to 30,000. Audience size is still pretty small, but when you think about it, these are retargeting audiences. They're not meant to be million size plus audiences. So you can definitely retarget a smaller group of people. Just know that you're going to be spending less to actually reach these people. So that way you can retarget them. They're more qualified than people who've never seen you before. So it's going to be easier for you to actually convert here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to optimize for your conversion, lowest cost next, and you're going to create your ad. And that is going to be your retargeting audience. And you can create multiple audiences. We recommend testing at least three to five different retargeting audiences and letting it run at least you know five to seven days. Not every single time your audience is gonna spend. If it doesn't spend, you're gonna need a bigger audience size or you're gonna need to have a higher budget. So make sure to retarget people with a unique message. You wanna make sure your budgets are a little bit higher if it's not delivering on spend. And then you wanna be able to actually have this campaign completely separate from your actual you know, evergreen or cold campaigns which are going after new prospects. So there you have it. That is how you set up a basic retargeting campaign where you can create custom retargeting audiences to actually go after people who have already been in your funnel or have already watched a video, visited your website or purchased so that way you can bring them back to actually engage and convert more. And we work with brands, creators, and businesses like yourself every single day, helping them with our actual TikTok ads, Facebook ads, helping them optimize, scale their results. And if this sounds like something you're interested in, make sure to DM me the word mentor at Real Chase Chapel on Instagram. And I'm happy to answer any of your questions. And if you wanna actually apply for a one-on-one -on -one mentorship where we're able to literally go one-on-one -on -one with you on a Zoom call, walk you through the exact setup, how to do this on your own, what makes the most sense for your actual business, then definitely make sure to click the link below or DM me the word mentor. We've helped hundreds of brands be able to scale up to six, seven, and eight figures per year using these exact strategies. For example, like Easy LA here, who literally hit a quarter of a million dollars in four months' time, or Amy here, who is literally stuck at 20K sales and is now on pace to do over $120,000 per month. Results like these happen all the time from our actual community because people actually apply the advice that we share, go over the strategies, and implement the actual results. So if this sounds like something you need for your business, make sure to definitely DM me the word mentor on Instagram at Real Chase Chapel to get started. And I really hope this free tutorial really helps a ton of you because we put a lot of effort into these videos and want to make sure that you have the exact strategies that you can use in your business to actually scale up your results. And if you really did enjoy this video, please do to make sure to give it a like and subscribe because that would really help the algorithm and we would truly appreciate it. So once again, my name is Chase Chapel, your favorite digital marketer here. Cheers and bye all. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, then I know you're an ambitious learner and you're looking for more. So go ahead and click this video here. I hand selected it for you.